I want to do a video about balanced charging of four 12 volt batteries connected in parallel. The website I'm referring to is impactbattery.com <clears throat> and it's the only website I've found that addresses this issue. I've looked at a few. This is the traditional way everyone would hook four batteries in parallel and it's the way I did it initially. But you can see that your front two batteries in the connection are receiving more amps when charging than the rear two are receiving because you have the internal resistance of each battery bringing the amps down and there's the resistance of each cable also. Now if you were to load these four batteries in this configuration your front two batteries would be delivering more current than the rear two and over the lifetime of this, these batteries, these front batteries would fail before the rear two failed. And they would draw down the rear two batteries, causing their failure prematurely. And I think this is what happens to a lot of people. They don't get the full life out of their batteries. Now if we go down the website a little bit, here is the proper way to connect four batteries in parallel for proper charging and loading. You can see for charging purposes, the current path brings the current into the center batteries and distributes the current outward to the outer two batteries. And that's the same for the positive and negative. The negative taps off the B battery and the positive taps off the C battery. Now for loading purposes, you would draw the current inward from A and D and distribute it outward from the center batteries. And this is truly a balanced hookup. Here's what that looks like in the real world. At first glimpse, it looks a little chaotic, but there is some symmetry there. And you can see I'm tapping the positive and negative off of my center batteries. For charging purposes, it would distribute the current outward to A and D, and for loading purposes, the current path would come inward from A and D out through these cables. <clears throat> My negative cable has a shunt resistor on it for the voltmeter. You can see my batteries are pretty much topped off. I'm just topping them off now. Um, I have a 100 amp fuse protecting the battery bank on the positive line. Now ideally, every one of these batteries would have a fuse between them. But that that's only in the case of one of them failing prematurely and short circuiting, you'd want to protect the other batteries. I'm risking it because this is supposed to be balanced. No battery should be failing prematurely, so I have just the one fuse. Maybe I'll add fuses in the future for safety's sake. My battery Terminals come and connect to this fuse block, which also connects the charge controller. The 30 amp fuses in there protect the charge controller. And I have a 50 watt solar panel outside running into this charge controller. It's currently delivering 1.21 amps. At maximum, it can deliver around 2.5 amps, but this is the weak winter sun and it's got a little bit of shading. But there's the cables coming out from the charge controller to the solar panel. And there is my 50 watt solar panel soaking in the weak winter sun. <clears throat> but this is proper way to hook up four batteries for balanced charging. And it's worth noting all these cables are the exact same length, and that maintains the balance also. Now these smaller batteries are what I take out for just one day or one weekend. I'll take those out, and I wouldn't be too afraid to connect those onto here. Once again, it wouldn't be balanced. They would be receiving more current than those would. What I wouldn't do is leave them hooked up after I was done charging. Because current would flow from the stronger batteries to the weaker ones and, and drag them down. But here is the proper way to connect four batteries in parallel 
of identical specs for balanced charging.